all outstanding work in art as well as in science results from immense zeal applied to a great idea with this positive thought hello everyone this is arpita tripathi welcoming you all to my channel and your very own learning platform the world of chemistry today i'll continue my discussion from the last topic chemical reactions so keep watching from this module you'll get to know about the characteristics of chemical reactions but before that let's recall once what is a chemical reaction a process that involves the rearrangement of the molecular or ionic structure of a substance or it is a process in which one or more substances that is the reactants are converted to one or more different substances that is the product the reactants taken may be chemical elements or compounds now how can we identify whether a chemical reaction has taken place or not answer to this is there are some symptoms or characteristics of reaction by which we can identify it so let's check what are they the first one is evolution of gas so here some chemical reactions are characterized by the evolution of gas the formation of gas is indicated as bubbles if the reaction takes place in a liquid medium the evolution of gas in the form of bubbles is known as effervescence the gas that is released is indicated by an up arrow the next characteristic is change of color third is change in energy next is change of state and the last one is formation of precipitate so let's see one by one how they are seen or observed with the examples most of the chemical reactions are accompanied by the evolution of gas when vinegar is poured on baking soda bubbles of carbon dioxide gas is formed water and sodium acetate are also formed when sodium metal is mixed with water then it reacts vigorously liberating hydrogen gas and forming sodium hydroxide when zinc metal is treated with dilute sulfuric acid hydrogen gas is evolved the hydrogen gas burns with a pop sound certain chemical reactions are accompanied with the change in color of the products when green colored crystals of copper carbonate are heated strongly it forms a black compound of copper oxide giving off carbon dioxide gas when hydrated crystals of copper sulfate which are blue in color are heated slowly then the crystal loses its five water molecules and the color changes to white many reactions give off energy in the form of heat and light chemical reactions that give off energy are called exothermic reaction when quick lime or calcium oxide is placed in a beaker containing some water the latter becomes very hot and starts boiling it is because of exothermic reaction when magnesium ribbon is heated from its tip in a flame of bunsen burner it catches fire and burns with a dazzling white flame some chemical reactions or changes absorb energy chemical reactions that absorb energy are called endothermic reactions sodium bicarbonate absorbs heat to form sodium carbonate water and carbon dioxide 
molecules present in the solid are in the state of slow vibrations when heat is added to the molecules they start vibrating vigorously as the energy absorbed increases the vibration also increases resulting in the breaking of some of their bonds when the bonds break the change of state takes place and solid melts to a liquid during vaporization the absorbed energy is utilized to increase the molecular distance resulting in the formation of gas when red hot carbon in solid state is treated with sulfur vapors it forms liquid carbon disulfide next is formation of precipitate but before that let's know what is precipitate some reactions are characterized by the formation of precipitate a precipitate is an insoluble solid formed during a chemical reaction and it is indicated by a downward arrow here two beakers has been taken and the beaker present it contains magnesium sulfate a colorless solution and this beaker contains a colorless solution of sodium hydroxide now on mixing these two we can see the formation of white cloudiness in the beaker this cloudiness is nothing but the insoluble solid known as the precipitate so i hope from this module you have collected some idea about the characteristics of chemical reaction Thank you for watching and have a great day ahead.